Hi, it's Amy with the Kitty Cat Road Trip. Happy Catter Day. And today's moving day, so we're gonna give you some footage of what it's like to move around in an RV with cats. We gotta pack up, we got to get on the road, we gotta probably make a stop or two. And for the cats, it's an unusual experience. I don't know that they'll ever really get used to it and like it, we'll see. We'll show you. Hey buddy. Hey, you ready to go for a ride? Huh? We've got a long drive today. You okay with that, buddy? Oh yeah, rub your face on the camera. Rub, oh, rub your face. Norman has always hated moving day. In fact, let me show you where he hides. There he is. Hi, buddy. What's going on under there? Hiding from Ryden? Hiding from Mama? Randy, on the other hand, he'll run around and play while I'm trying to set up, sometimes getting right under my feet. It's a lot of fun. Well, Randy's favorite place to travel is right here on the kitchen counter. I don't know why the kitchen counter is the place he likes, but that seems to be where he's most comfortable. So, hey, ride where you're comfy, kitty. What you doing? Right, you can, you can ride with mommy. Yeah, you gonna ride with mommy? Okay, that's mommy's seat. That is mommy's seat. I need to sit there. Go on. Can you get down? Okay. What? 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 Why are you sitting up there? That's like the most unstable, shaky place. Huh? Come down here and sit on my lap. He does this for about, oh, 15, 20 minutes, he'll cry and cry and cry. Then we'll find him like laying on the kitchen counter or curled up behind the computer. Now, remember where I showed you Norman earlier? Oh, he's still there. Hasn't moved, not an inch. Randy, oh, poor baby. The first couple times when we took him on the road, it was like trying to keep the Tasmanian devil in your lap. I had to put him inside a carrier. He went going nuts. But, um, you know, that's to be expected. Any of you watching have a cat, and you've had to drive them somewhere, I, it's always the exception, and I would love to hear your stories about how well your cat drives in the car. Oh, and if you're worried about the cats being able to access uh, areas under the dash, we have put um, some, I don't know what you'd call it, like it's plastic. It's called cat scat mat. Cat scat mat. So we'll actually put a link to that. We're not affiliated on um, Amazon or anything, but it's, so far it's working. So the cat, we don't, we used to have the stuff like blankets and pillows and when we were driving, hope to God, they just didn't go up there. Um, but that seems to be working. That's keeping them, it still allows air to flow, but it keeps the cat from crawling in there, so. We just finished our three and a half, four hour drive. 
Norman has been underneath the chair the whole time. Funny thing about him is when we slow down and he starts seeing trees, he just knows. Like we'll stop at a gas station and he won't come out. We'll stop at a restaurant, he won't come out. But he just knows when we, in fact, you know what? We just stopped and he's coming out right now. How, how does that even, I don't even understand that. Check it out. Hey buddy, are we there? You peeking out your little special window? Oh boy, we gotta go in and check in, buddy. We'll be back in a minute. He's been under that chair the entire time we've been here a minute and he's already coming out. Smart. <laughs> Smart cat. What, are you ready? What are we doing, Norman? We're gonna go outside? What's up? Norman, are we ready? You ready to go outside? What? Yeah. We just got to a beautiful park in Jacksonville called Hannah Park. We are getting set up. The cats are ready to go outside, so we're going to do our best to get to a spot where we can let them on their tethers for a little while. They've been in the car. They've been so good. We're really glad you came along on the ride for us so you can kind of see what it's like to bring kitties on the road. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and send us some comments. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear about your own cats. If you have any, or if you just love ours, that's fine too. Goodbye for now until we see you again. Oh,